Welcome to Thursday Eco Artists, a series presenting entries to Homestage's Fight 24 project. For more information about this, follow links in the description. This is a song called Moncton Coke, and it's about the Moncton Coke Works up in Hebron, which produce Coke. Uh, it's an important process in the steel making uh, industry, uh, but it's also a very uh, polluting one. Uh, and it polluted an entire neighborhood up there. And it took a concerted effort by the, uh, the locals who had spent years with health problems, spent years with environmental problems, uh, to finally get the mill the coke works actually closed down uh, and the area cleaned up and it's it's kind of an environmental success story in that uh, the groundswell of of concerned citizens actually took on a big corporation and were able to clean up the environment <laughs> Linen's hanging on the line Gray from the ash and soot Nothing here was ever clean Nothing here was ever new Daddy worked at Moncton Coke Had that carbon in his lungs Smokestacks cloud our sky They cough and blur the sun And daddy paid with his health He never made it out alive I prayed the sky was clear and blue When in heaven he arrived That dark satanic mill On Blake's green and pleasant land If we don't clean it up who Batlin Jenny, I will stand. That monster never shuts its doors Glows at night as if possessed Hope I live to see those smokestacks fall And Koki finally take its rest Hope I live to see those smokestacks fall I used to live uh, in Texas, and in fact, used to live on the Texas-Mexico border, and by virtue of the work I did, I was a newspaper reporter for many years, um, I knew people who were involved in smuggling, uh, who lived, uh, lived down there, owned property uh, along the border, and in fact, the property had been in their family for generations, given to them in Spanish land grants. Um, and when you're the fifth or sixth generation of your family to smuggle things across the border, and things get smuggled both ways across the border, 
the U.S.-Mexico border. Uh, when you're that many generations in, you tend to look at smuggling a bit differently. It's something your father and grandfather and his father before him did. Uh, so there's not really... Uh, uh, there's not really the sense of, of uh, the wrongness of it. They still know it's wrong and still know they can go to prison uh, if caught. Um, but it's, it's kind of a way of life. And so the song I wrote uh, dealing with that uh, is called The Lights of Eagle Pass. It's about a fellow who... Uh, lives in San Antonio, and this, this is not unusual with uh, smugglers along the border. They'll smuggle uh, guns into Mexico to feed the drug war going on in Mexico. Uh, and then on their way back, they'll smuggle drugs into the U.S. Uh, so this is a song about a guy who does that. Marlboros and whiskey at a shrine to Malverde. Offerings of the damned. Men lose faith, but La Frontera obeys the law of supply and demand. Contrabando con destino A piedras negras Where trucks smell of Mexican gas La noche es mía Ahead I see the lights Of Eagle Pass Lights of Eagle Pass. Mi familia ha vivido aquí From days of Spanish land grants The sin may change But temptation remains The border's just a line on a map Contrabando con destino A San Antonio My truck smells of Mexican gas Bienvenidos a los Estados Unidos Spell the lights of Eagle Pass the lights of Eagle Pass. This song is called Smoky Old Town, uh, and I stole the title uh, from Woody Guthrie. Uh, actually, I didn't steal the title so much from him, but uh, stole the line from him. It's about Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, which used to be uh, the steel capital of the United States. Uh, it's where three rivers come together. Uh, 
And even though the steel mills are gone, uh, it's kind of reinventing itself as a, as a you know, tech capital uh, in that part of Pennsylvania. Uh, so here's Smoky Old Town. First light dull as methadone I drive out here to be alone With Carrie's ghosts and a six of beer a Tombstone to steel near Rankin Bridge Masabi or in Pittsburgh cold Forge this town's iron soul. Woody said it's a smoky old town. Solid iron from a keysport down. All he did was cough and choke. From the iron filings and sulfur smoke Masabi or Pittsburgh coal Forge this town's iron soul Our fathers built this town in their prime then we burned it to the water line. You got them on the Allegheny and the Ohio, pick a river and watch it flow. While street kings tag the epitaph. What time's not claimed vandals have? Masabi or in Pittsburgh coal Forge this town's iron soul Masabi or in Pittsburgh coal Forge this town's iron soul Hello, my name is David Hanners, and I want to say a few words about the importance of Fight 24. There's really no bigger concern in the world right now than what's happening to the environment and what we as citizens of the world can do about it. Margaret Mead, the anthropologist, said that you should never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. And in fact, she said that's the only thing that has changed the world. And that's where Fight 24 comes in. Musicians and poets and other artists have been on the forefront of major causes throughout the course of history. And they've helped spread the word and inform people about what's going on. And the environment is no different. And the more we can help people understand the world around them, and what they can do to help, the better off we're going to be. A good reason to support Fight 24 in this endeavor. Thank you.